Yo, what is everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool fade to black effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So it's basically a really cool transition in Final Cut Pro 10. As you can see right here, this is basically what the transition looks like right here. It just basically fades to black in between two clips. So it's definitely a really cool, like seamless way to transition um, in between two clips, especially if you're not like a big fan of all the whip pans, those luma fades. It's a very simple and very easy way um, to transition in between two clips. And it's a very simple effect um, to make. So I'm gonna go over here to the example right here. As you can see, this is what the clips look like without the fade to black effect. So basically they, they look okay, but they're just like simple um, jump cuts. But with this cool fade to black effect, you can definitely create this really cool like seamless transition and definitely make the clips um, look a lot. Um, better and just a lot more um, uh, uh, seamless. So what you want to do is you want to go over here to the transitions tab right here. You want to go to all and then you want to type in fade to color right here. As you can see right here, here's the name of the transition, fade to color. So let's go ahead and just apply the transition um, in between our clips um, right here. And you may notice the name says fade to color. So if you don't want it to fade to black, you can actually fade to a um, specific color right here. So let's go ahead and just play the video right here. And as you can see, it'll be the exact same video um, as the first video. And yeah, like I said before, you can actually have it fade um, to color. So you can have it fade to whatever color you want and there you go. It's as simple as that very easy very simple um, Transition right there. So you go ahead and click on the transition um, Right here as you can see fade to color you can adjust the color right here So let's go ahead and head to here right here uh, So let's go ahead and we can adjust the color to literally any color you want right there You can adjust the hold you can adjust the midpoint, but for me personally, I think the default setting um, look pretty accurate. I think Final Cut Pro probably does its best job of trying to make it look as best as it possibly can to match the video. I personally like it. I think it looks pretty accurate and pretty close. So you can of course adjust the settings if necessary, but like I said before, I think the default settings are pretty accurate. I think they look pretty realistic. But again, that's all a personal preference. You may want to come up, you may want to have a little more manual control over the transition right here. So again, all you want to do is go to the transition tab, go to all, and then type in fade. And as you can see right here, fade to color. And that's the name of the transition. That's all you need to know. And it's a very simple, very easy um, transition. So definitely go ahead and try it out and see if you like this um, effect. I personally like this. It's a really cool way of seamlessly transitioning in between two clips if you're not a big fan of like um, jump cuts. It definitely just looks maybe a little more seamless and a little more fluid. Uh, that's pretty much it. Very simple, very easy effect. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 170 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.